My brothers and sisters in Christ, one of the great traditions of the church, I believe it's from Ignatian spirituality, is to place ourselves within the scriptures, a way of connecting the scriptures to our daily life and maybe even bringing up more of that emotion, that feeling, the thoughts, the prayers that come as we encounter it. One, it reminds us that what we are listening to, reading every time we come to Mass or study the scriptures, it's not just some ancient words or some words that we know have been translated, retranslated, reinterpreted, printed, that it's not just words on a page, but the living word of God speaking to us, and especially the readings that the church has provided for us. Now, today I celebrated a special mass uh, setting titled In the Time of Pandemic. And it was previously used in previous pandemics times during the, in the life of the church, and the church has updated it and renewed it for us because of how and when we know we need these encouragements, but also ways to express our own maybe frustrations, our own sorrows, our own pain, but hopefully also where should be our rock and our hope. That very first reading today comes from the book of Lamentations. It's a book that I try to read every year during Holy Week, and I invite you to do the same. But note the words as it begins today that I speak, that speaks, I think, to where many of us might be at or know where people are in our own lives, families, and friends. It says today, my soul is deprived of peace. I've forgotten what happiness is. I tell myself my future is lost, all that I hope for from the Lord. Maybe many of us are feeling that and experiencing that. I think that even speaks beautifully to the words that we heard in the gospel today, one that Pope Francis used at his Urbi et Orbi special blessing. This gospel is the exact gospel that he used. And here's the story of the disciples crossing a boat, and suddenly these big waves come on upon their boat, and there's our fear of that they'll be overtaken, that the, broke, the boat will be broken up, and all will be lost. And where is the Lord? In the back on a cushion, asleep. And maybe a lot of us feel that way with things going on right now. Lord, where are you? You're silent right now. You are asleep. Come, answer my prayers. It all seems lost as the Lamentations presents with us. But what does Lamentations go if we continue reading on towards the end? But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. The favors of the Lord are never exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning. So great is his faithfulness. See, amongst that sorrow and pain, the author recognizes of where their true hope is. And Jesus challenges even the disciples today of that as in the boat, where he quiets his, quiets the, the waves and the oceans. They're all stunned. Who are the words that Jesus says, and even Pope Francis emphasizes in his homily from the Urbi at Orbi? Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? You and I have been through a lot in our lives and gone through many things. And some of you, much more than I have, will probably ever go through. But hopefully, by watching this, that you're still knowing where's your hope, where's your strength. May today's readings, the celebration, you know that the Mass is still going on, that the Lord is still present here and now amongst us by virtue of our baptism, dwelling within us, helping us, that even though we are terrified, that the hope of what we have planned is lost, the uncertainty that lays before us. It's much just like going out on that boat where there will be times of rough periods, but we know how our Lord provides for us, and our church is here to remind us of that. And so that, know that my Mass today has been offered for all, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus, those who are dealing with complications from it, whether physically or financially, emotionally, but also praying for all those who have died and that we know more to come, which brings a lot more uncertainty. We know our, our Lord is there as well as our church. And in my homily with the opening prayer for the new mass setting in the time of pandemic, and I believe it's beautiful and speaks to us and hopefully gives us courage, I'll post the prayers for the mass as well as the readings uh, below in the notes as well as also on our website. And so I'll 
The link will come up in a moment for that, but I encourage you to go please read that and hear the words. Almighty eternal God, our refuge in every danger, in whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to read out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. We praise our God who is our infinite hope, who is always there, even amongst our pains and struggles, because he knows them and he brings them before his heavenly Father and gives us his grace to live it out. May God bless your daily journey with him.